As we go forth this week in celebrating uh, the birth of Dr. Martin Luther King, we must be mindful of the fact that for greatness to take place, that great things had to happen through great people. And it took sacrifice, and we too are called to greater. So I celebrate Dr. King by accepting the call that God has for me in this time, in this season, to go forward and do what he would have us to do. So to you, Emmanuel, we got greater that's hanging over us, and we too must go forth and do greater as we celebrate the life of such pioneers as Dr. Martin Luther King. Church planting, it's such a dynamic. There's a difference, of course, between church planting and church pioneering. Church pioneering is the opportunity that you go in and you don't necessarily have all the infrastructure. You have to build all of that. But God is calling us to expand our borders. 80% of the people in Colorado Springs don't attend a church, don't know about Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. And we are called to go into those places and reach those people. Church planting. In other words, Emmanuel must broaden our borders, extending where we are going, moving past congregational worship into city worship and revival. How do we do that? Attend the summit and we'll find out more. Be ready. These are exciting times that God is calling us to do greater. Greater worship, greater praise, great accomplishments. But we do that through greater warfare. There is adversity also in the air. The kingdoms are striving for superiority. The kingdom of darkness and the kingdom of light. But we know that God wins. We know that we win. The story is already written. So we just expect greatness. And so, Lord, whatever you're doing in this season, don't do it without Emmanuel. Thank you.